Okay, so uh, the this video regards the uh, uh, your readiness to use uh, or to see the standard form. Okay, now first uh, and foremost, can you write down all three forms of quadratic equations with the name of it? Okay, be very honest. If you don't know, look it up. Okay, do not hesitate. If you don't know, look it up. Okay. Uh, yeah, so standard form, standard form, you have standard form, which is ax squared plus bx plus c, okay? You have the root form, which is a times x minus r1 and x minus r2. And the last one is the vertex form, a times uh, b and then x minus h uh, squared uh, plus k if we do the uh, transformation stuff. Uh, but uh, if we are sometimes just writing it, we would combine the a and b together to make it just a. Uh, so that's also acceptable. Okay. So you got to know all these three, all these forms. Okay. If you don't know, then know them. Okay. I'm not going to yell at you, blame you. Just go ahead. Don't waste time. Know them. Uh, and uh, each form can tell us some good wealth of information. Like with standard form, we can tell the axis of symmetry because that is uh, negative b over 2a, right? And then we can also tell the discriminant. We can use the discriminant to find out the number of roots, and that is b squared minus 4ac. Okay, now, let me be clear. I have, I had students in the past who would finish this unit, and well, guess what? Some units later, I asked them if they still remember discriminant, if they still remember the quadratic formula, and the answer was no. Please don't. Okay. Uh, hurting my heart is not really a problem. Hurting yourself is a problem. Okay. Like, I don't want you to stare at a quadratic equation sometime later, or maybe on the SAT, and you're like, uh, what is this? I mean, it's. It's a good tool, okay? And when I tell you that's a good tool, I want you to trust me that it's a good tool, okay? It's a good piece of information that you want to keep it, okay? Keep it close to yourself so that when you need to use it, you have it, okay? So so that's the standard form. Uh, I mean, ax squared plus bx plus c, that tells you the roots, axis of symmetry. And, you know, when I was explaining the standard form, when I was explaining the quadratic formula, I was like, you know, if you know the quadratic formula, you've got a couple things all together. Like, oh, discriminant, how come we can tell the number of roots? Because, duh, look at the number. It's underneath the square root. So that basically tells you what outcome it's going to be. Like, that's nothing to memorize because it's right there in front of you. You can reason it out. Okay. So, uh, so I'm not going to waste too much time talking about this. Now, for number three and number four, uh, one thing that I do want to make sure is that you want to keep it as a, uh, you want to keep things at, um, uh, at a standard form. Now, there's no why here because it's going mean, to, when there's no why, that means it's just some values that would make the statement true. When there's a why right here, that means we are actually dealing with a curve, some sort of parabola and it represents all the dots. But for number three and number four, there's no Y. Simply means we're just seeking for one or two X values. Uh, and if that's the case, make sure that it's always equal to zero. And how? Subtract two X, so uh, plus four X right here. And then you can use the uh, standard form. Or if you are even sharper, you can say, hey, I see even numbers. Great, divided by two for on both sides. Okay, then you can start your standard form. Okay, but now before, I mean, not standard form, I mean a quadratic formula. But before you do that, you should always ask yourself, can you factor it? If it's not factorable or if it's too complicated that it's not really wise to factor it, then just go ahead, use the quadratic formula. Okay, so again, standard form, make sure your eyes are sharp enough to recognize what the standard form is. And if you see standard form, then it can automatically trigger uh, a set of tools that you can use, and these are the tools that you can use when you've got standard form. Okay.